If you are a London player, you will love today's game, and even if you are not, you will love it anyway, because it was executed a brilliant attack in the European Women Championship by Armenian international master Christian Lilith, whose opponent was Narva May. So let's go, knight f3. If you're like, what is this? I would think you just stayed London, and London starts with d4, bishop f4. It's correct, but after knight f3, it was soon transposed to London system. So uh, d5, d4, knight f6. Here, the usual setup is bishop f4 and then e3. But in the game, white started with c3, which is also okay. e6, bishop f4. It's very important in London to play bishop f4 before e3, because if e3, now the bishop will stack here on c1. So bishop f4, bishop d6, and now e3, interesting move. Um, at first glance, this looks strange because after bishop f4, e4 here, uh, white will have double pawns. However, look what will happen. After uh, white plays bishop d3, knight d2, queen e2, uh, first of all, when the pawn is not on e3, it's on f4, right, in some point, yeah, white will use this e half a pawn file for attack. And also, after white plays at some point knight e5, the f4 pawns they will lose, uh, they will lose, <laughs> they will use in attack. f4, g4, h4, and so on. So e3 looks strange. Yeah, we will have double pawns, but it's quite an interesting idea. Black didn't take on f4. They played short castle knight bd2, uh, b6, knight e5, going ahead, bishop b7, bishop d3, c5, like kind of standard uh, London system. And here, many London players, they just played short castle, h3, some standard kind of passive uh, game, uh, which I'm not fun at all. However, look what happened in this game. Uh, now Lilith decided to start attack on the king on g8, and why not, yeah? Here white has a bishop on d3, great one. The bishop on f4 works. Knight e5 works, knight e2 can come to attack, g4, h4 pawn can go at some point too, but if you want to attack, you cannot really do it without queen, and here Lilith executed it, queen f3, a very interesting move, queen goes to h3, targeting the h7, and now if white bothered the knight on f6, maybe with g4, g5, or knight g4, yeah, here already something is starting on, uh, here black played g6, trying to limit this bishop on d3. However, uh, with g6, black is going to concession uh, because with g6, they are weakening their draw squares, f6 and h6. And look how from here, uh, Lilith is uh, changing the direction. Instead of targeting the h7, she starts targeting the f6 and h6 squares. So first of all, what she did, uh, these pieces are okay, right? They are. Uh, doing whatever they can. The knight on d2 is passive one. And in the attack, we usually try to bring all our pieces into the game. And here we go, knight df3. Now the knight is going to g5. Here black played queen c7 and bishop g5. Attacking the knight on f6. Knight e4. Bishop e4. d4. And here the most interesting part starts f6, oops, f6 and h6, these are the weak squares. So if we can penetrate from here, our knight, bishop or queen, <laughs> black's king will hate this. And here, while knight on f3 is under attack, looks like we should go back, knight d2 maybe, and going to e4, did it everything very fast. And she played uh, bishop f6. What's the idea? White doesn't care about this f3 knight, because all they need is to get their queen on h6. This is a, a standard pattern with the dark squares. You put the bishop on f6 and queen on h6, or reverse, queen on f6, bishop on h6, and often there will not be defense against queen g7, as in this case. So, bishop f6, now white wants to play queen h6. Black played h5, not allowing us to play queen h6, and now uh, when it looks like we should play knight g5, a uh, white player doesn't care about knights, they are going all in to mate the king on g8 and was played g4. They are opening the g file, because black can never take hg4, right? If there is no h pawn, there will be queen h8 mate. And after uh, g4, <laughs> it's coming gh5, after which the g, g file will be open. If black allows us, we can also take this g6, so it's coming a very dangerous attack already. Uh, black played ef3 and gh5. Now it's coming hg6 and then queen h8. 
in order to stop this also opening this G file, Black played G5 themselves, not allowing us to play HG6. Uh, with the hope after H6, we want to play H7 and the king will be mated. Black can play king H7 and block this pawn. However, after G5, uh, Lilith continued to playing still very aggressively. They are pissed down, but the king is very open. Yeah, rook g1 looks like a good move, yeah, rook comes to the game, but in the attack, the first thing we need to do is bring the queen. Now the queen is not very happy. At some point it can support h6, but king h7 and blocked, yeah? So what did lead? She played queen g4. Now white is threatening to take on g5, and after king h7, uh, queen g7 mate. So after queen g4, it's already tough to give a good advice for black. Uh, looks like king h7 might be a uh, defense with the hop after queen g5, uh, queen g7 mate is coming to play rook g8 and stop it. However, after king h7, white mate after queen e4 track. Now, black can go g8 or h6. If g8, this pawn wins the game. White plays here h6 and then h7. If black moves to the rook, uh, let's say to c8, yeah, trying to run, we play h7, check, king f8 and h8, rook. It's very important to promote rook, in this case it's not queen. <laughs> okay, joking, uh, you can do queen of course. Uh, so king h7, queen e4, if king g8, h6 and we are winning. And after queen e4, if king goes forward, king h6, okay, it's good, like we will bring it more closer to our camp and then there will be different ways to mate. So knight g4 check, king h5, here there are different ways to win. The easiest one is queen h7 check, uh, king g4, and here uh, the favorite mate of many chess players, mate with a pawn, h3 check, and the king on g4 is dead. So after g5, queen g4, here black played rook fc8, trying to run immediately. But now queen g5 check, king f8. Now it looks like that the knight on e5 covers the d7 square and we can play queen g7 track and queen g8 mate. But it's not mate, because black can play bishop f8 and defend it. And instead of that, uh, here white pushed h6. There are other interesting ways to win too, but this is uh, like very straightforward and very easy way. You just play h6, h7, h8, queen. Like you will not only get the queen, but uh, having a piece on the 8 rank, it's just mate, yeah? So h5. And if king e8 again, like h7, h8, there is <laughs> this h7 pawn is unstoppable. After h6, uh, black took on e5, uh, with idea after h7 to play knight g6 back. But now d5, <laughs> and now uh, additional headache for black, not only h7, h8 is coming, but also the bishop on d6 is under attack, so here the game is practically over. It continued a few more moves, king e8, e d6, winning the piece, queen d6, and now uh, already White is not pissed down, and here they have free attack, and this h6 pawn, which is unstoppable, h7 was played, king d7. Now we can play, of course, h8, and here win an exchange, uh, after h8, rook h8, and so on, but the king on d7 and queen on d6, this is already, if you know patterns, this is motive for us to win the queen, so rook d1 was played. In order not to lose the queen, black played bishop d5 covering it, but now if you know tactics, it's standard, you just attack the piece using the pin. So here c4 or e4, one of the moves, uh, are winning this piece. Uh, in the game was played c4, queen c6, cd5 and queen b5, black is taking the last chance. And they are doing good thing, yeah, maybe, maybe white some forget about that they are mated, because all the game white attacks, 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 and often you can forget that oh, <laughs> opponent also can attack, but uh, Lilith was careful. Was played d6, and here actually black is getting mated uh, first. We have queen, bishop, rook, and we start the game with checks, 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 and then often in this case it will be check, check, and mate, like in this case. If black takes king e6, queen e5 is a mate, yeah, the rook uh, covers the d7 square, uh, if king c6, it's coming queen d5 check, king c7, bishop e5, again, it's mate, was played king c7, and after rook d7 check, uh, black resigned. If they take queen d7, of course, they are losing the queen, so the fight will be already uh, nonsense, and if king c6, queen d5 mate, and if king b8, now just check somewhere, <laughs> queen e5, for example, rook c7, queen c7, and mate. 
So, such a brilliant uh, game was played in the European uh, Championship with this London system, where here White started the strong attack with Queen F3, Queen H3 maneuver, and after G6 they executed a very nice attack using the dark squares. Knight D2 came from to attack the most passive piece, the Bishop G5, and after Knight E4, take take Bishop F6 immediately using this weak square. Queen H6 is coming, and after H5 G4, Black couldn't stop this attack. Hopefully you love this game and see you during the next game of the days. Take care. Great Master of the Grigorian was with you. I'm happy to serve you as always. See you later.